Illegal map art. A controversial yet popular problem on EarthMC. The act of making a map art not allowed by the rules. Most of the time selling it on the black market to other players and making profit off of it. Today we're going to talk about what this is, why it is, and then talk a little bit about a situation that came up recently involving illegal map art. Just super quick before I get into that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Maybe become a channel member if you want to help out the channel even more. The join button is below, click on it and check it out. Thank you! Illegal map art is a relatively new phenomenon on EarthMC. As map making boomed in 2019, there was no set rules regarding what could be made and what not. It was a free market and many interesting pieces of arts were created. Then came 2020. With a ton of inappropriate map art going around, the staff team decided to crack down on it, banning map art including gore, racism, pornography, and other map arts that absolutely should not be on the server. This was an objectively good change for the server. The average EarthMC player does not want to see this type of map art and it really does not belong on a Minecraft server. However, as many of us know, not everything goes smoothly with the staff team. There was no organization, no formal process to ban art, and it turned into a free-for-all staff team map art banning, with lots of bias being involved in the decisions. Mods like Rosebrugs and WTD Puddles became figureheads for the map art regulation, and many maps now have conflicting opinions on if they're even banned or not. When the staff member Neowold quit the server and resigned from the staff team, he created a document talking about the biggest failures by the staff team and everything they were doing wrong. In this document, back and forth map rules were mentioned and talked about. The staff team has no consistency, with some map arts being only soft banned, meaning if the staff team finds them and chooses to ban them, you'll only be given a warning instead of a perm ban. Usually. See, at 12.49am on December 25th, the player Bleeblop was banned for violating Rule 1.2 displaying and selling illegal map art. Bleebop was a very notable map art seller and the owner of the largest map art shop on all of EarthMC. He joined the server December 2019 and spent a lot of his time on EarthMC in the map art industry. This ban has been a controversial one and has had a lot of my group on EarthMC on its toes. He's given announcements and updates on what's going on in the situation. He's shown pictures of the tickets and even gave the full ticket to the Blockbuster Insider. They then shared this ticket, making it easy for anyone and everyone to see it. One of those people, obviously, Obviously being me. I haven't looked at the ticket yet and I wanted to actually read the ticket while recording this video just so that you can get my live reaction. I'm going to be as unbiased as I can. Obviously I am kind of on Bleebop's side but I see reasons for either side and I'm open to like actually thinking about if Bleebop's in the wrong here. Um, before I actually look at the ticket, I want to reiterate really quick, because I think it's important, that Bleeblop was previously caught selling technically illegal map art. He was only warned for it and had the map art destroyed. Anyways, let's talk about the important parts of these tickets. So first of all, Bleeblop asks to talk to an admin, citing bias towards him from the current moderator involved in the ticket. Puddles then tells him that he's talked with multiple mods, meaning that no bias could have been involved in this situation. Bleeblop responds, telling him that every time you notified me of an illegal map, it was taken down. Meaning that this situation has come up before, but in instead of flat out perm banning him, they just got rid of his Ill illegal map art. Puddles then says that with some of the maps, he put him back up and said legality in question, and another map was just flat out put back up. This only being a small portion of the reason why he was banned. Bleebop then asks for a reason for his ban. Puddles responds saying that sometimes staff members do not ban him for a map art that he knows is illegal. Then saying there was only one map that he misidentified as illegal. Bleebop responds by saying again that we have history, meaning that Puddles should not be the one handling the ticket. Rosebrugs then jumps into the ticket, saying, Did you not announce your ownership of the illegal map art discord? Seems like you knew what you were doing. This means, obviously, that Bleeblop owns the illegal map art discord. That is a pretty convincing reason. Bleeblop jumps back with a picture of some DMs with him and the previous owner. This shows the previous owner asking him if he would take ownership of the discord because he's quitting. Now, that's a decent defense, I would say. It's not completely destroying the claims, but it's good enough. Now, this is where I'm I'm going to jump in with my own opinion. So I think banning wise, uh, you need to always have actual proof to ban them. Just owning the Discord is not technically selling illegal map art. That just isn't enough evidence to warrant a ban. I know that false bans are a problem with the staff team. And a lot of the time after someone gets banned, they'll end up getting unbanned. I know the staff team doesn't want this because it's not really a good look for them. So I think you really need enough evidence to know that the, it was bannable and have something that if they say it's not bannable, you can send them that message and say this is, this specifically right here shows us that that was bannable. Getting back into it, Rosebrugs then says he's pretty active in it, this being the illegal map art discord. I personally don't think that's a very good way 
or a good response, so I'm not really big on that. But then Puddles responds with like the actual reasons why he was banned. So let's read through those. The majority of your ban was for 1.2, assisting others in breaking the rules. Based on evidence we have of you selling and storing a large number of illegal map arts, we also have logs of you taking map arts out of your large illegal map art stash and handing them to other players. It is for this reason we believed you were either the owner of the illegal map art discord or in close relations with the owner. You received the illegal map art discord despite you not even being in the discord on your main at least up until was given to you. Leads us further to believe that you were owning the Discord, or at least at the top of the Discord's hierarchy, before it was ever given to you. Not to mention, you also have been supporting the illegal map art Discord by directing players there for years and Captain B4's Discord server. So that's the main thing to talk about, because that's like, he just gave the reasons why he banned him. I think that kind of has some semblance of a reason, though I just don't know if it's enough. Like, if you don't specifically have direct proof that he is selling it to other players. He says, we also have logs of you taking map arts out of your large illegal map art stash and handing them to other players. This is not proof of him selling it. They say, based on evidence we have of you selling and storing a large number of illegal map arts. Now, if they have the actual evidence here, that means Bully Bob should be banned. But we, the players, do not have this evidence. So if the staff team does in fact have this evidence and is not sharing it with the public, which is okay, Bully Bob should be banned right now. That is an okay reason. So it really comes down to if that is real evidence or if it's a load of baloney. Puddles then sends a message showing him selling illegal map art. This is softcore illegal map art as I talked about earlier in this video. Bleeblop comes back and says, as I said before, when a map was deemed illegal by staff and they said, take it down explicitly, I complied. Those have been there for over 10 months and are sold in other shops and currently displayed at some end spawns. Also traditionally, selling illegal map art was warranted with a warn non insta ban, which is why you were banned for not only that, but 1.2 as well. So that comes to the end of the major situation. A bit more happened, but nothing really important to our situation. I think a bit of stuff I didn't show kind of shines a darker light on the staff team. They didn't handle this ticket very good. I think Puddles was not awful in this ticket, even though he's the main person who was, like, said to have bias. All of the other moderators that went into this ticket weren't very good besides Puddle. The way they talked and didn't give Bleeblop the amount of respect that he deserves while talking about this man. Although I read through the rest of the ticket here, and he gets a bit more passive-aggressive and just flat out rude as we go farther into the ticket. I don't know about this situation. I think Bleeblop probably deserves to be unbanned while the staff team talks about this a little bit more. I would say it really comes down to like maybe if Fix or a higher up specifically is watching this video. Just look into the situation. Like I'm fine if you come out and say Bleeblop should still be banned. That's that. There's nothing else we can do. But look into the situation a little bit more. Look at the facts and see if you actually have something to get him banned. But specifically, the rules should just be better on selling illegal map art. There should be a set guideline of rules and what happens when you don't follow the rules. There should be like an amount of warnings you get before you get perm banned. And that should be a set amount. I think all of this could have been avoided if you just had rules for it. But that's going to do it for this video. Thank you all very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments because I, I actually am super interested. So this isn't just like a an attempt to get people to comment on the video. I actually want to know your opinion. But that's going to do it. So thank you all very much for watching. Gosh, Kelly, I hope you enjoyed it. Toothbrush.